Have you heard of the Metaverse? Well, evidently Facebook has, because they recently changed their name to Meta in order to position the company to become one of the early adopters and supporters of the Metaverse. So what does this mean to us as investors? And do we even care? And if we do care, what should we be looking for? So this is going to be a different video than what I normally produce, and it has to do with the Metaverse. So before I could talk about the Metaverse and what some potential investing ideas might be, I first need to define what I think the Metaverse is. And I like to think of it as a shared virtual platform where different traders or just people in general can access this environment through various different devices and they can move about throughout the shared digital environment. And as the various and different Metaverses are implemented and come online, I can envision a future where the stronger and more populous metaverses become intertwined and evolve into an infinite multi-metaverse where the inhabitants can cross over into other metaverses in order to experience other digital environments, interact with other inhabitants, and immerse themselves in a continuously expanding and evolving multi-metaverse. And the way that this conceptualized digital environment becomes a new reality is with the vision and power of key technology companies. And I think that the companies with forward-thinking vision are already planning their strategy for how to move forward into the future. Because they want to be there on the ground floor, forging the new foundation for this new digital future. Next, I'll discuss which companies I think are worth watching as key enablers of the new metaverse. Roblox Corporation, stock symbol RBLX, has a video game platform that went public this year. Now, they envision the metaverse as a place where people can come together with millions of 3D experiences to learn, work, play, create, and socialize. Now, Roblox aims to give users and developers different ways to create digital worlds. In fact, its CEO has also talked about future shopping and conducting business on the platform, which has its own virtual economy powered by its Robux currency. So I've added Roblox on my Metaverse watch list. The CEO of Microsoft, stock symbol MSFT, has mentioned that the company is working to build an enterprise metaverse as the digital and physical worlds converge in their offerings. Now keep in mind, Microsoft, which also owns Xbox and the world-building game Minecraft, are obvious key players in this space because of their world-class expertise in the virtual online gaming world. So I think that Microsoft is well positioned to become a key player in building a mixed reality construct like a metaverse. Microsoft is one of those stocks where, where every once in a while the stock may begin stair-stepping and have some dips, but overall, they continue to have an upward trend. Facebook is so strong in their belief that metaverses will become so pervasive throughout our lives, they've decided to change their name, and on December 1st, 2021, their new name will be Meta Platforms, because they want to be seen as a metaverse company rather than as a social media company. Now, this tech company has about 3 billion users worldwide, so they've been investing heavily in both augmented reality and virtual reality. In September, Facebook started dipping. Let's wait and see what happens to see if they can recover. Whenever I think about digital environments and graphics, I always think NVIDIA Corporation. And this computer chip maker has built its Omniverse platform for connecting 3D worlds into a shared virtual universe. I've heard Omniverse being considered as the key infrastructure that will allow metaverses to be built. NVIDIA seems to be on a roll, moving higher and higher. I keep waiting for a pullback to give me an opportunity to make a purchase, but it just seems to continue climbing with no end in sight. Unity Software Incorporated, stock symbol U, develops software that can be used for designing video games. So that makes this company well positioned to sell tools and technology that'll be used to build the actual metaverses. This stock gapped down in February earlier this year until it finally bottomed out around middle of May. And now it seems to be on a path to recovery and moving higher. Snap Incorporated, stock symbol SNAP, is the owner of Snapchat. Which if you're familiar with Snapchat, then you're probably familiar with the work that Snap Incorporated has been doing, building custom avatars and augmented reality filters that overlay digital features on the real world. As you can see from the chart, Snap gapped down recently, but I think they're poised and positioned to recover from this and move upwards well into the future. Autodesk Incorporated is a cloud software firm that makes software tools used by architects and engineers to design and create buildings and other products. Its software tools are also used to build virtual reality worlds for gaming and entertainment. 
With credentials and experience like that, I can easily see how Autodesk can become a key player in the development of metaverses. This stock seems to be range trading consistently between a low of $255 and a high of around $330. Epic Games is the designer of the globally popular shooting game called Fortnite. Now, in addition to this hit, Epic also has moved into creating virtual dance parties and virtual music concerts. In fact, in their virtual environments, users can pay for upgraded items and experiences. They also own a sophisticated gaming engine called Unreal, which could be used for creating meta-use environments. As an interesting side note, Epic Games is privately held and they're not publicly traded, nor have they officially endorsed or mentioned a plan to participate in an IPO anytime in the near future. I noticed that when I search Metaverse on Google, I get 118 million results. And when I search trending information, Metaverse has spiked up tremendously within the last three to four weeks. So what do you think of the Metaverse? Is it a real thing or will it become the next big thing? Or is it just a passing fad that's doomed to dissipate and dissolve into the ether? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Real or fad? And if you do think it's real, what companies do you envision playing a key role in its development? I've stated this many times that profitable option trading begins by picking good stocks. I use a simple three-step process to pick my stocks for option trading. In fact, I'll be hosting a two-hour YouTube streaming session and demonstrating exactly what I do live and on camera. I'll walk you through each of the three steps. I'll share the websites that I use for research. And I'll also show you the tools I use to review and analyze each stock. Plus, I'll show you the exact buttons I push during this free live webinar. So be sure to register for this event so that you'll be notified with the final details. And I'll send you the special link to access this webinar for free. To register, just visit my website, pickingstocksforoptions.com. If you like the information about my stock picks, then consider joining my Patreon, where I share exclusive videos of my stock picks every week that I'm going to be using for profitable trades. I also include my research notes, stock analysis, and trading strategies for every stock I pick to watch for that week. And of course, all my videos posted on my Patreon are ad-free. There's one last thing before I end this video. Now, making profits and generating an income from option trading is a great thing, but keep in mind that all gains made from trading are considered income and are subject to applicable tax considerations. So every month, I save a portion of the profits that I earned in order to pay for my federal and state taxes. So please consult with your CPA, licensed financial advisor, and or tax preparer regarding the tax liabilities for your unique situation. If you're still watching this video, I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I also want to wish you good luck and lots of success with all of your trades.